What's going on, YouTube? My name is Legendary, and today we have more PSA cards. Oh, oh, I'm unbeatable. Ladies and gentlemen, you see this in front of me? This is PSA cards. More PSA cards are back. Let's freaking go. This is my submission from September of 2020, which is strange because I, a couple videos ago, I, I showed you guys my July submission from 2020. Um, August is still in grading, but here is September, so it is what it is. I think we have 20 something cards here. Um, man, I'm ready. Let me cut this one open as well. I am ready, especially coming off the last video where we didn't get a single 10. I'm expecting, um, I think, a couple 10s this time around, but who knows? Who knows anymore? Here we are, guys. Let's get into some PSA cards. And a quick reminder to hit the subscribe button down below. Huge giveaway coming at 5,000 subscribers. Not going to want to miss out on that. Also, when you're seeing this video, I'll, some of these cards will be up for auction and auction block starting on Sunday, the 24th of October. And it'll run till the 31st of October. So if you want to purchase any of these cards or you're interested in any of these cards, I uh, clicked the link in the description down below to get to my to my uh, eBay store. So there's that. All right, we got two stacks. Look at that. Let's just go. Let's just make one big stack. Look at all those cards. Yeah, I believe this was a uh, submission was 28 cards. I know one of the cards because uh, I, I did this through ZNG Emporium, and he, he uh, shows um, some of them on camera. So I saw the one of mine. Here we go. So this was an energy card. I just sent it because it's really cool. I don't believe I'm going to sell this one. This one's just a sick looking card. So hollow energy. There we go. Our first 10. <laughs> Our first 10 of the new submissions is a hollow fire energy from Champion's Path. All right, here we go. We've got the Shining Ho-Oh, I believe. This one can get a nine. Let's see. We're going to go a little bit quicker this time because we have a lot more cards. It is a nine. I, I'm, I'm agreeing. Okay. We're off to a way better start than last time. Last time it was got it got real sketchy really quick. So we got a 10 pile and a 9 pile. Let's see what we got here in the next one. Ooh, unit energy. I believe I thought this one could get a 10. Let's take a look at the back here. Yeah, I still believe it could get a, get a 10. Let's see what we got. Let's go. Sorry, there was a glare. But Jim Mint 10. We're pulling in the 10s, baby. Let's go. Unit energy secret rare from Ultra Prism. Let's go. That'll likely be one of the cards up for auction, just so you know. All right, next one. Mega Pidgeot EX. I believe I thought this one could also get a 10. Ooh, maybe not. That centering on the back's pretty bad. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, we're on a roll. <laughs> let's go. Another 10. Mega Pidgeot EX. All right, let's get it. All right. Ooh, this is a big hitter, guys. Big hitter. Celebi Prime from Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Triumphant. I believed I thought this could get a 10. Yeah, the back of this is absolutely perfect. It's going to come down to the surface on the front. I thought it could get a 10. Let's go! <laughs> Jim and 10. Celebi Prime. Oh my gosh, we are off to a, such a hot start. Make sure you hit that like button down below. It is, it is going off today, guys. All right, we got a first edition Watsy. I don't believe this is hollow. No. First edition Team Rocket Dark Weezing. I believe I thought this one was gonna get a nine. Had a little bit of edge wear in the back. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, an eight. Okay. I could see a little bit of that edge wear in the back, making that eight. I'm fine with that. Definitely fine with that. All right, here we go. Next one up. Machamp Prime. I think I thought this one was gonna get a nine. Yeah, it's got one little speck down here in the corner, unfortunate, one right there. So I believe it's gonna get a nine, maybe even an eight. What? A 10? You can see that, right? Maybe that's not Edgeware, it's just a piece of cardboard hanging right there. But wow. Was not expecting a 10. Shout out UCF Jaguar on this one. Look at that. UCF Jaguar was, was looking down on us, trying to get us help us get that PSA 10 on the Machamp from Heart Gold Soul Silver Triumphant. Sup, Dalton. Sup. All right. Our 10 stack is building, guys. It is it's getting crazy in here. All right, Doc, I'd love to have a PSA 10 in at least one of these first edition Watsies that I sent off. I don't think this one was one I could get a 10. Uh, 
No, it's a little bit edgeware. I'm thinking nine probably on that one. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Definitely a nine worthy on that one. All right, a Floatso Level X. This is just another random card I've had for for years. Let's take a look at the back real quick. Ooh, a little more edgeware than I remember. Possibly a nine or eight. Let's see here. Yeah, nine. Okay, I agree. I agree with that. I'm I'm liking the grades much better this time around, honestly. Um, they're much more consistent. Besides the Machamp, I honestly I feel like that Machamp probably should get a nine. But you know what? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. All right, here we go. Dark Jolteon. All right, is this the one I can get a ten in? Let's get a ten in this bad boy. I'd love that. Ah, no, we got some edgeware. Something else. What is that on the card right there? See that right there? That looks like it's on the card. Maybe it's on the slab. I'm not sure. Let's see what we got here. Dark Jolteon. Eight. The Watt C's coming through with some eights. That's okay. That's okay. All right, what we got here? Ponyta, first edition Team Rocket. Uh, also, was hoping for a nine on this one. Let's see what we got here. Nine. Okay. That's fair. Definitely fair on that one. All right, here we go. Ooh, our, okay, this is the one I know the grade of. It's a nine. Um, I thought this one definitely could have got a 10. Ooh, now that I'm seeing some of the edges. The thing is, it's not that much different from that Machamp. So, interesting. Crystal Guardian, Swampert, Reverse, Rare. Got a nine. Our nines are starting to catch the tens. Actually, our nines have caught the tens. 50-50, but honestly, getting tens is super, super hard. So, that 10 pile is uh, probably going to be caught by the nine pile. All right, we got another first edition, Team Rocket. Um, man, I really want a 10 on one of these, these old Watt C's. Ah, it's just really tough. They don't, they're really strict on Watt C now, even the non-hollow, as you can see. We've got a bunch of nines and eights on some of those old Watt C cards. Ooh, I'm hoping for a nine on this one because, yeah, if, hopefully I can get a nine on this one. Ooh, let's go. I accidentally showed it, but it is a nine. I also sent a Charizard from this thing up as well. These are damn near impossible to get a 10 in because most of them are bent coming out of the, the collector's chest that it came with. Such a sick card. Look at that artwork. Look at that hollow. Very cool. Yeah, I believe the centering on the back, definitely a factor in that nine, but still a really cool looking card. Love to have that in a nine. All right, next one. Uh, this is a promo from the Eternus the VMAX box. Yeah, I, I figured this was gonna get a 10. This one is damn near perfect. Yeah. This one could get like a BGS 10, I think. So sit down there. We had another return to I, I believe. This is probably going to be this next one. Yep, this is the other promo that came from that card as well. Um, say 10 on that one. Yeah, definitely 10. Those, not much, not much, uh, not much uh, to, to really <clears throat> conflict on the 10 there. Those were, those were really good condition cards. All right, we're getting our stack down, but look at this. 10s have caught back up to the 9s. We got a couple 8s. Much, much better than our first return video oh blanche charmander not first edition um now this one i believe could get a 10 let's get a 10 on this one let's go we got a watt c we didn't get any first editions i believe that's all the first editions watt c's in this one but we did get the 10 and the blanche charmander let's go i thought that one was going to get a 10 all right here we go another charmander from team rocket i don't believe this one was as good now I got a little whitening in the bottom left here. It's probably gonna be a nine. Yep, that's that makes sense. Definitely makes sense. All right, next card we have another Charmander. That's right, I graded a bunch of uh, old Watt Charmanders because at the time people were paying a lot of money for them. They still they're still pretty good, but uh, I think this one's probably gonna get a nine as well. Yep, that's all right. We got a ten. We got a Blaine's Charmander ten. I'll take that. The other Blaine's Charmander got a ten. That is, there's two different ones. All right. Our stack is getting a little bit smaller here. We got like six or seven cards left. I'm starting to forget what I even have left. Okay, we got a base set two Pikachu. Let's take a look at the back here. Um, centering's a little off. I think I was hoping for a 10 at the time, but probably gonna be a nine. Ooh, the 10 though, I'll take the 10. Absolutely. I mean, there is no real whitening on the back. It's just that centering's a little, little thicker on the top, but I think it was in there parameters so we got ourselves a 10 10 and 9 baby they're going back and forth look at this back and forth fortunately we got two eights both from the first edition team rocket era of course 
the first edition is getting eights, but that is what it is. All right, here we go. Another Pikachu. This one from base set, Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. Um, I believe this one, yeah, this one's probably gonna get a nine. It's got the smallest nick right there in the corner. And yeah, I'm loving the grading this time around. Much, much more consistent than last time, man. It was rough last, last video. Man, all right, we're getting there. We've got one, two, three, four, five cards left. All right, let's get it. I'm starting to forget what we even have left. Okay, this is gonna be a PSA 10. Yep, I knew that was gonna be a 10 all day. This one, this card is essentially almost perfect. Um, so, no surprise that that's, that's a 10. 10's back in the tie with the nines, 50-50 on these guys. And we've got four cards left. Now this is going to be like a six. It's got a huge, huge bend at the top, unfortunately. Yeah, you can see it right there. See how it's dented in right there? This is going to be a six. Oh. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I was praising them for their consistency, but um, yeah, that, that dent in the past, you can clearly see it right there. That's usually like six material, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Um, but we got the eight on the Charizard from the Fall 19 collector's chest. It came with that armored Mewtwo. Very interesting. Was expecting a six on that one. So, okay, we're 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 mostly consistent. Don't believe that deserved an eight, but it is what it is. I'll, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna take it. Um, it's a very 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 weak eight, but whatever. Oh, I forgot about this one. Um, this, I believe, is probably going to get an 8. Centering is pretty bad on the front. One little nick right there. We'll be lucky if we get a 9 on this one. Oh, we did. We did. Okay, I can see it being a 9. The centering is just a little off on the front. You can see that uh, from right to left. Um, but besides that, it just had the one tiniest nick in the corner. So I'll take it. All right, we've got two cards left here. We're gonna need them both to be tens for the tens to outweigh the nines. Let's see what we got here. And it is a Charizard GX. I believe this is the promo from Hidden Fates. A promo from Hidden Fates. I believe we can get a 10 on this one. And, ooh, nine. That's gotta be centering. Centering's a little off in the front, but if you look at the back of this one, there's nothing wrong with the back at all. Not a single speck on the back. Must be something with the surface. or something here. We got the 9 on the Charizard Hidden Fates. Well, unfortunately, the 9s will take home the win today. But that's fine. I'll take 9s. We got a whole fat stack of 10s here. And honestly, don't remember what this card is. Let's see if I can remember what this card is. Um, I have no idea. Okay, another Charizard. Darkness and Blaze. Uh, I think this one probably gets a 9-2. I remember. Well, it's got it's got no whitening on the back, but that surface. Who knows about the surface? Let's see what we got. And it's a 10. Ah, we fell just short of the 9 stack. But we'll, we'll set these 8s and 9s aside. And let's go back through the 10s real quick. Because, man, we got a bunch of them. Let's count them out here. So we got 1, 2, 3. Oh, look at that beautiful B set. Base set 2. 4. Five, six, seven. Look at that. That that the hollow border. So sick. So sick. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So we got eleven tens. Uh, 12 nines and three eights. Wow, that, what a submission, guys. Absolutely rocked this one. This one was so much better than my last one. Man, I'm just so stoked to see a little bit more consistency besides this one. This one was, this one throwing me for a loop a little bit here. Uh, maybe they changed their policy on, on bends. I mean, it is a slight bend. It's not like a huge, huge thing, but um, you can definitely clearly see it's there. Um, but as far as whitening and stuff goes there is no whitening so i don't know maybe they changed their policy on how that stuff works but here we go charizard got the eight as well as the other two first edition team rocket cards if i can get them apart yep 
Well, like I said, guys, um, if you're interested in any of these cards when you see this video between the week of between October the 24th and October the 31st, that's when a lot of these cards will be out for auction. If anybody's interested, link in the description down below. But uh, yeah, if you if you watch this far, hit me up with a uh, red Rayquaza down in the comments. Appreciate you for for watching. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like rating down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, stay legendary.